praise the lord so welcome to another episode of hope and today's theme is living a spirit filled life so the book of deuteronomy 32 13 verses says it's like it describes like this how when eagle trains her baby eagles to fly so it says like an eagle that stirs up its nest and hovers around over its young that spreads its wings to catch them and carries them on its pinions so what does that mean the story is at the right time uh, when the babies uh, are supposed to leave the nest the mother eagle breaks her own nests when the babies are still in the nest and uh, so i believe the babies must be crying out say mother mother don't do this we are falling we will fall but the mother completely ignores and as she is breaking this nest and what happens the baby the baby eagles are falling and as but the what the mother does is she dives down and spreads a, a huge wings and holds the babies without falling so at that time the baby eagles as they were falling down they are spreading their wings to resist the fall and they have learned the lesson they have learned how to fly so my brother my sister isn't it familiar in our own lives too unless we learn to take the risk of trusting the lord hoping in the lord have faith in the lord in every situation of our lives the lord cannot take us to the place he has planned for us so hasn't god allowed us to go through disturbances hasn't he allowed us to go through uh, storms water fire but in and through that we have become strong and courageous so in jeremiah chapter 33 it says call to me i will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know so even the most intelligent or maybe the wise and the talented people on this earth are still limited but the lord says i will give you my power i will give you my wisdom i will give you my revelations and my direction if you call me and stay with me uh, closely praise the lord praise the lord so if we look at uh, the lives of saints uh, we see how they have journeyed with the lord they have learned to listen to the lord and they are very familiar to the promptings of the holy spirit in fact they are led and guided and used as a witness to god sometimes even to the extent of sacrifice in their own lives with great joy because they know at the end of their lives their the reward of reward of journeying with the lord is waiting for them that is eternal life the presence of the lord forever and ever so this maximilian kolbe we have heard of him a lot this great man he offered his life for another prisoner was it easy not at all this prisoner cried out and said i can't die because i have a family children waiting for me and maximilian called be he offered to uh, 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 to step in uh, in place of this prisoner it was not at all easy but he knew it was the will of the father and when doing the will of the father what you receive in return may not be 100% in kind or in mati in the material world but the joy peace hope and freedom you receive cannot be compared to anything in this world praise the lord praise the lord so even saint john mary viani uh, it is said that in the village he served as a priest nobody attended holy mass on sundays and because they were so busy doing their own activities and so even though the bell rang was rung for mass everybody was passing the church and nobody entered and then he was prompted he was he he was uh, he he was uh, led 
uh, by the Holy Spirit to do something. He exposed the blessed sacrament on the altar. And he knelt before the altar. And he spent hours and hours before the Lord. Hours and hours praying before the Lord. And, in, and praying for the parishioners. And as they were as he was praying before before the blessed sacrament, something happened in the lives of these people. One by one, they came to the church. And it says, it took almost 10 years for all the villagers to transform their lives. But the priest had to pay a huge price. But that was the work of the Holy Spirit and the leading of the Holy Spirit. So if you have read this book called The Torn Veil, uh, it is her life story is uh, is amazing. Uh, uh, it's written by Esther Gulshan. So it is a story how God used the Muslim woman, Muslim girl, to change the lives of thousands of people. She was seeking the Lord. She was praying to Mother Mary for her, uh, for asking for her intercession because she was a crippled child from birth. And then Jesus Himself appeared before her. And she was used powerfully in this mission. At one occasion, her whole family uh, was against, the, against her. And her sister, um, because she, be, she became a Christian. So her sister, uh, by pretending that uh, she's being taken to a relative's house, she was taken uh, into a place, into the prison, with the support of the prison authorities. And she was put in a cell. She was locked, in, locked up in prison. The cell she was in uh, was a tiny small room with no ventilation, no, no, no proper to toilet facilities, and there are about 50 women all in that small room. And who were these? They were the prostitutes, they were drug sellers, they were the murderers, they were the thieves, and all types of women. But Esther had a great treasure within her. That was a Bible. She had a hidden within her, which she carried wherever she went, and she had it in her pocket at this moment also. So what she did was she went to a corner, sat down, and started reading the Bible. And whatever happened around her, she ignored. And this, all these people started um, uh, accusing her, saying uh, various things, and pass unkind remarks. But, and she was ill-treated also. But she didn't mind. All she did was she was reading this Bible. So as she was reading, these women started to be, became curious to know what she was reading. And little by little, one by one, they all came and sat around her. And then she, Elster Gulshan started to explain who Jesus is, what Jesus has done in, in the life of the people, what Jesus has done in her life. And at the end of two weeks, more than 35 women accepted Jesus into their lives. They were saved. And in a week's time, the prison authorities released Esther also out of the prison. That was the mission the Lord gave. The, her, the mission the Lord gave us accomplished. So today we have to ask ourselves, are we ready to be used by the Lord? Are we ready to say yes to the Lord, where we can be a great instrument in the hands of God? Our hope is only in the Lord. Imagine being an instrument in the hand of God and imagine being led by the Holy Spirit to gain greater heights. The Lord is calling every one of us to this life, a life of hope, totally depending on him, listening and obeying his will. So, yes, my brother, my sister, do, we know, do you know how diamonds are formed? They are made of carbon under intense pressure and high temperature. As, uh, 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 as years go by, what happens? They form into diamonds. Diamonds are the most expensive gem in the world. So even in our lives, we may be sent through fire, water, storm, thunder, yet we can be assured we will be a diamond in the hands of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.